Good morning. Good morning from the Bullock County Historical Society and also from the highway on Savannah Avenue. There are several things out and about in Statesboro, Georgia, that you may or may not know were projects of the Bullock County Historical Society. We will begin talking about some of these this morning, thanks to our sponsors, Merrill Lynch and Max Manette, Morris Bank and Anna Swickard, and Neesmith Construction and Kelly Finnell. Most of us know that Statesboro City Hall was once the Jekyll Hotel. But did you know that the Bullock County Historical Society restored the original neon sign in 2012 and paid to have it hung in the alley beside the building? This was one of the first projects between the Historical Society and the City of Statesboro. I contracted Robert Cheshire with the City and ask him to get me ideas where BCHS could help the city with historical projects. The friendship began and it still grows to this day. The gates were open. The sign had been stored for years in a city warehouse after they purchased the hotel. Gustav Jekyll opened the hotel in 1905. William Jennings Bryan and Cornelius Vanderbilt were guests here. Blind Willie McTell performed here on the front porch. The first floor had separate gentlemen's and ladies' parlors. On the first floor was the dining room and the front office. The second and third floors each contained 14 guest rooms. The hotel closed its doors for good in the late 1960s. The city purchased the hotel for $165,000 in 1994. The hotel was designed with elements of a restrained neoclassical design. The States for a Herald said that the dedication of Renaissance Park took on the feel of a gospel revival, and it did just that. This park was dedicated in May of 2015 at the corner of West Jones Avenue and Parker Street. The centerpiece is a steel sculpture, which is a replica of the Bullock County Courthouse Clock Tower. It was built for the NCAA National Championship football game played at Paulson Stadium in 1990. Georgia Southern defeated Nevada in this game, 36 to 13, woohoo, under the coaching of Tim Stowers. The tower was designed by me and also the late Edwin Akins, a very famous, excellent architect here in town. The late Greg Allman was the halftime entertainment and he performed Statesboro Blues, written by Blind Willie McTell, while sitting inside this structure. This structure was stabilized, steel was added to it, and it was made into a large piece of public art. A boulder was purchased and a bronze plaque was attached to it to share its history. We also placed a bench inside the structure so people could enjoy a shaded spot in Renaissance Park. During the presidency of BCHS President Joe McLamory, the society began placing bronze plaques on historic buildings in downtown Statesboro. This began in 2016. As of this tidbit, we have researched, written, and installed 17 of these, which are made by International Bronze Company. Each plaque has several sentences about the history of the building and its owners. I'm going to talk one sentence, maybe, about each of these. The Pretorius building was built in 1910, and it has earthquake bolts right here in Statesboro. The Georgia Theater is an Art Deco style of building, and it was built in 1936. The Bank of Statesboro was constructed in 1911 
and it closed in 1932 due to the Great Depression. The Statesboro Sanatorium opened in 1908 and it was Statesboro's first hospital. The first undertaking business in Statesboro was the Buggy and Wagon Company in 1902. Sea Island Bank opened in 1901, and it's now known as Sonovus Bank. Vandy's Barbecue was first opened in Portal, Georgia in 1929. Bet you didn't know that. The Statesboro location opened in 1943. This building was first used as the Statesboro Post Office and opened in 1917. It's one of Statesboro's most beautiful, beautiful structures. The Masons, the chapter in Bullock County, began back in 1857. This location has been their home since 1940. The Ed L. Smith, H. W. Smith home was built on South Main in, 18, in 1951. Statesboro's Library began in 1937. This building was designed by Edwin Aikens. There have been three banks at 1 North Main Street, Sea Island, First National, and Bullock County. Bet you didn't know that one either. The very first barbecue restaurant in downtown was opened in 1920 by Bonnie Bernard Morris. I've always heard of him referred to as Mr. B.B. 30 East Main has been a hardware store since 1893. 32 East Main uh, has been both a law office, insurance agency, and a real estate company. Ray Simmons built Statesboro's first three-story building in 1900. In 1936, it became Minkovitz Department Store. The Bullock County Historical Society dedicated its Eagle Nation on Parade sculpture in the fall of 2013. It's located in front of the Statesboro Regional Library. The name of our eagle is Bullock County's Family Tree. Our eagle has a 30-page booklet that describes in detail the images on this historical piece of public art. These historical sections are divided into the following topics. Artists. Doctors educators, public figures, landmarks, settlements, roads and waterways, agriculture, churches, schools, businesses, and banks. This piece of art won the Outstanding Program of the Year by the Georgia Historical Society in 2014. That's quite an accomplishment. This piece was painted by Scott Fox. Thanks for sharing your time. We will cover other BCH projects, including historical markers, the walking tour of downtown, and the history of Bullock County in future tidbits. Thanks so much for sharing with me this morning. Bye.